everyone. So this is going to be a very short uh, video. It is a pick a card and I'm going to be doing A, B, and C. Um, and you're going to pick a card. This is for what the uh, new moon slash partial solar eclipse in Cancer will bring you. And it's just going to be two cards per, per, per air, you know, the one that you choose, A, B, or C. So just kind of focus right now. You can kind of pause the video and figure out which one is drawing your attention, A, B, or C. So I'm going to start with A, and um, whoever chose A, like I said, I'm going to do one tarot card and one oracle card. I'm not going to make it too long because I want to be, you know, some people don't have time to watch all these long videos, so I want to make it short and sweet. So for those that chose A for this um, new moon in Cancer, which is a partial solar eclipse, and I don't know if you know, but eclipses tend to be very, very life-changing usually they bring huge changes in our life and you know depending on where it falls in your chart there's going to be some changes going on in that area so for those that chose a i got the seven of pentacles and this is a card that talks about patience there may be something that you need to wait for in this new moon and eclipse there may be something that you need to give it time Maybe that person that you're interested in, maybe in that relationship or in that job opportunity, maybe financially, there's something that you need to give it time to grow. It has a lot of potential, but you just have to be patient with whatever that is. Just give it time and you will see how it starts to grow for you. Um, it's a card that talks a little bit about taking a step back and really focusing on what you're trying to bring in your life and really focusing on your intentions um so this card really focuses a lot you can see how he's kind of pondering and just waiting he's done the work already he's just waiting for it to come together so you may need to wait and see there's a lot of behind the scenes work that's happening that maybe you're not seeing right now in a spiritual realm a lot of spiritual guidance i feel the insight coming to me and downloads of guidance coming for those that chose this card um, a lot of clarity coming in for you that chose this card. So I feel like there's a lot of clarity that's coming your way. Okay. The other card that I got for those that chose um, A is well-being. And in this new moon slash solar eclipse, it's going to be important for you to take care of you. Okay. It's going to be important for you to take care of your health, take care of yourself, um, taking time to rest, to eat well. Um, to replenish and to take time for you okay there's nothing more important that if you're not healthy you know there's no point in anything else to happen right because if you're not healthy then it's not good so this card is showing there's a need to really focus on your well-being and what is the right thing for you at this time um, so in combination to recap seven of Pentacles a card of patience in this new moon there may not be a lot going on but behind the scenes, there's so much going on. So just be patient. This is a great time for you that chose this, these uh, pile of cards A, is to do a lot of dream work, do a lot of um, journaling, a lot of hypnosis, a lot of meditation, so that you can receive guidance from spirit. Because I do feel a lot of guidance coming to those that chose this, these two cards, uh, pile A. For pile B, um, I have the two of swords and this is a card of non-action there may be some non-action happening right now things that are not moving or that are kind of still and there's a need to really make decisions and choices this card always represents decision making um, is going to be important there may be a feeling of that things are not moving the way they should however they are moving so this is a card that really talks a lot about decisions and choices um, and that maybe you're not seeing everything in this in this moment, but in the new moon, you're going to see a lot. The veils are going to come off. The masks are going to come off. And you're going to be able to see things so much better than you are seeing them currently. So the next new moon that we're going into, for those that chose Pal B, are going to be a lot of truth, a lot of clarities coming in. And a lot of things that you didn't know are going to be revealed to you. So pay attention to your dreams as well. And I got Unexpected. What a beautiful card. Um, you can see how she, a little girl, is walking down from this little palace. And there's a huge palace in the site over here. And she doesn't, she can't believe that there is a paradise there. 
So something is going to come in your life that is going to be really good in this new moon. And you're going to find yourself so happy and being grateful that you are in the right direction and that there's something much better for you than you thought. Sometimes we get ourselves in a bind or we find ourselves like, why am I, you know, questioning? Why am I in this situation? I can't do things like I want. But it's because there's something better for you in the future that you don't even know. So there's something better coming in um, and there's an unexpected miracle, I would say, for those that chose Pile B. For those that chose Pile C, um, I have, and that's the last pile, the Eight of Swords. And this is a card that talks about feeling restricted, feeling like your hands are tied. This new moon may make you feel like there's no way out or like things are kind of getting a little bit restricted for you, but in the contrary, you have everything in your hands to go forward. And it's all an illusion. So try to not let external energies or external situations make you feel like you can't move forward, okay? Um, and then I have the unconditional love. And this person that you care about does care about you, okay? But there may be some external energies that are just kind of like against the line or kind of against you right now or against the relationship. But there is unconditional love. There's unconditional support. And there is help coming to you, okay? Um, there's a need to do a lot of affirmations and positive work. Um, reinforcing the good, you know, prayer work, beads. For some reason, I'm getting the download of beads and working with like repetitive effort, like wording, affirmation, prayer, you know, like bead work, um, mala beads, rosaries, whatever you're drawn to, and doing that repetitive energy. Words are going to be very important for you in this new moon, okay? So that came up as a download, as a message from my guides for you guys, okay? The underlying cards for both decks are Three of Swords. So Three of Swords to me is a card that really talks a little bit about betrayal. And there may be some sort of betrayal for all of us coming up in this new moon. Someone or something isn't what they claim to be and there's gonna be some turbulent waters. But know that you're gonna to get to the heart of an issue, heart of the matter, heart of a situation, getting to the core of that issue that's been bugging you or that's been, tra that's been troubling you. And you'll be able to get clarity with that. Uh, there's a third energy or situation or person or something is coming in between your plans. There's trying to interfere, but don't don't worry because you're gonna get the help that you need. I feel a lot of divine feminine energy coming up. And then I have vibration and raising your vibrations, our vibrations is going to be very important for this new moon. Raising and elevating our vibration. That's gonna be very important. And now that I got the Divine Feminine coming up, they, she made an appearance here. I'm gonna pull a card from the Divine Feminine Oracle for all of us. Just one card for all of us to see which Divine Feminine Goddess energy is with us for this new moon. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs, thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. So let me go ahead and pull a card. And I got Fatima. It says, the mother of I am's. Love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. And look how beautiful she is. Very beautiful. So let me read her information here. I don't know this deck by heart. This is a deck that I do need to read the book with. Um, let's see, number 60. And it says, let me read the meaning. We get caught up in the ego's idea who we need to become and what we need to achieve. Fatima is the grace that sweeps through our seemingly complex lives and reminds us of what core, what solid earth to the soul. Family, even if family means a few beloved friends, what matters most is the love and the gratitude we bring to those who are there for us and the love and the gratitude we feel when they show up for us. Nurturing and protecting and taking care of the ones we love is sacred occupation. My great-grandmother, Big Margie, advised me that if I ever had children, I need to make sure I got paid for it. I have no clue what she was talking about. The idea was so foreign, but Big Margie believed that women should have a wage for the time they spent raising children. So their work will be a last value. The role of housewife and stay-at-home mom is sacred if it is a consciously chosen. Fatima is also a call to step back and take a deep breath and take inventory of how much you can be grateful for right now in this moment. 
She releases you from unreal expectations of yourself. Whether you have mothered a child or friend or yourself, Fatima helps you to see the vital role of the nurturer provider provides. She offers the perspective that says you says love is the family we all belong to and gratitude is the state of wealth we live in. So she restores the significance and importance in the spiritual path of motherhood. So there's something with mother energy and motherhood and gratitude um, coming up here. What am I most grateful for at this moment? That's going to be your intention for this new moon. What are you most grateful for in this moment? And your intention is love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. So those are the cards that came up for us here today for this new moon slash partial solar eclipse in Cancer. If you would like more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below and I'll make more. Big hugs and I'll see you then. Angel blessings.